Hey everybody, it's Brian Quain, and we're at day one of the Florida Film Festival at Enzion Theater in the Eden Bar. Here I have with me Catherine O'Brien. She directed the short film Doppelganger. We're gonna ask some questions with her and find out what got you to do this film and how did, who, how, why was Doppelganger your short? Um, and what is it about? Well, uh, Doppelganger, it's, a, it's an eight minute short. It's about a father who's teaching his two identical twin sons how to box. And um, he favors one of the sons and is really hard on the other son and uh, pits them against each other. So one son figures out uh, that he's going to seek his father's approval by pretending to be his other brother. And so he takes his dad out, dresses in his other brother's uh, boxing equipment, and, um, and finally gets his, gets his father's approval that way. Brilliant. How did you come up with the, I mean, obviously it was written by somebody else, but you jumped on as director for this. Was it easy for you to direct this, or how did you feel, like, how did you come about? Well, this was my first film with Columbia University. I'm currently in film school there, graduate film school. And um, it was written by another student in the program, Rick, uh, Brooke Siebold. And the, the story, I think, originally came from a documentary that she worked on. She co-directed called Red Without Blue. And that was a story about identical twin sons who grew up, and actually, uh, they were both they were both actually sexually abused when they were younger, and one son grows up to have a sex change later on. So, I mean, it was a really great doc. It won an uh, uh, audience prize at um, Slam Dance and played a lot nice. of festivals. I've and, heard of, yeah. I heard and I think, um, and Brooke just had twins on the brain, I think. So she, um, and write so what she, you know, I guess. Yeah. If it goes well, just write what you know. So she she wrote the short as as part of Columbia's program, and um, and we do this thing where we sort of we pitch each other for for things we want to direct. And I read That's the story, great. and it was so great that I um, I I went after her fiercely for it, and uh, we had a great working relationship, and and had a really great time make, doing this fictionalized. Version. And you'll work with her again, right? You'll absolutely. Definitely, absolutely. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, do you have a doppelganger? Have you ever met somebody that's like, or do you know people who say, like, that is, uh, that's you? Like, yeah. Um, no, I haven't actually. Well, actually, that means, no, no, I take it back. I haven't met them, but uh, apparently I have a doppelganger in Los Angeles who has my, my same name and my same Gmail address, Catherine O'Brien. Oh, get out of here. And she, uh... You know where to email her now. She, but you don't know <laughs> if it's Hotmail or Gmail, it's one of the two. But, um, but no, but she gets, she's a writer in Los Angeles and is totally irritated because she's always getting my emails from the television show that I worked on and, or from film school and, uh, and she always, so, she always writes everybody back very nastily when, when they that get was, the wrong one. So I've never met her. I'm very sorry, Catherine O'Brien from LA. Um, about all that. So yeah, that was my next question. How did you get into film? Was it, I guess, TV? You worked in TV prior. Was that how you got into it? What made you get into this? Um, well, I mean, originally I've been doing um, visual arts for a long time. Right. Uh, photography and, and writing, and uh, the two came together since they're, the, I think, the two components of narrative yeah. filmmaking. I kind of um, saw you taking the camera from my friend Brian, and it's like, oh, she's also Yeah, it's kind of a reflex. There's a camera, I'll, I'll go for it. Um, but it came to get, I got the bug when I, a film came to my college, um, Wellesley College, undergraduate. I've been doing, pursuing it ever since. And I moved out to LA and worked as a writing assistant um, and then as uh, in the writing room for a television show for ABC called Carpoolers, which was totally miserable, actually. Right. I mean, it, TV writing wasn't my thing. The hours were grueling. The, the you know, the, the, well, we the ladder that. there was hard. A lot of uh, the filmmakers go from TV down to uh, doing. Um, more or less film now. Um, and another thing, what's your karaoke song? If you were ever sing karaoke, what would be your karaoke song? Probably Wild Horses. Wild Horses. Uh, Sundays or, or yep, yeah. no, not here, but uh, Rolling Stones or the Sundays? Have you ever heard the Sundays version? It's, the, no, I haven't, but the Stones definitely. But okay, are you no, gonna, we have a date. Are you gonna, all right. Yeah, we'll be singing. So don't forget, please check out Doppelganger. It's in the shorts program number four. Thank you, Catherine O'Brien. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You.